Well, for more on the situation in Mali, I'm joined now by Dr. Peter Pham. He's the director of the Africa Center at the Atlantic Council. Thanks very much um, for coming in. I suspect before Friday, many people in America certainly hadn't heard of Mali, particularly in nor of the Islamist militants there. How serious is the threat posed by Islamists in the country? It's an evolving threat. If you had asked me 12 months ago, I would have said they're of concern, one should keep an eye on them. But it was an underperforming Al Qaeda franchise. They were certainly very good at drug smuggling, kidnapping for ransom. They made millions off both. But they weren't particularly committed to a jihadist ideology. They'd someone, in fact, been criticized for it. What's but changed? What's changed has been that the collapse of government authority in northern Mali has given them now a territory roughly the size of France. They now dominate that territory politically. They're able to impose their harsh version of Sharia law on the population. And the easy flow of weapons out of Libyan stockpiles, now the increasing inflows of foreign fighters and other troublesome elements are creating a perfect storm of extremist ideology, money, weapons, and opportunity. Okay, when you think of a failed state and you think of Islamist militants, setting up home there. You do, of course, start to make the link with Afghanistan. The situation is different, but if you are the French today, you're taking action because you think there is a real and possibly urgent terrorist threat coming out of Mali? Well, certainly, you look at your own population. Uh, France, a tenth of the population has its origins in this neighborhood. You also look at the North Africa, the base of al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, this group there, they were the largest, after Iraqis and Saudis, were the largest foreign fighters that in Iraq several years ago. So this is a radicalized uh, element there. So you begin to worry. However, one has to be d differ from worrying about a perspective problem and the, the military situation on the ground now in Mali. Okay, so a prospective problem. Can this French action knock that out? I think it can, in the short term, contain it. And it certainly has rolled back the offensive that the Islamists were pushing last week. However, a long-term sustainable solution for Mali requires political dialogue, the restoration of constitutional order in the country, reaching out to those elements who may not have been extremists, but had aligned with them as a way of rebelling against marginalization in Mali. And it requires an African solution, which has not been forthcoming yet. Okay, Peter Pham, thanks very much for coming in to explain it all to us. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you.